Yeah, just and like you said, like we don't know the guy personally, but just be, like we've grown up to 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 see this this kid evolve and transcend the game that we love. Yeah. And and just absolutely dominate for so many years and you can't really it's it's kind of weird because you you don't a guy that you idolize, a guy that you see as like the pinnacle of success and the pinnacle of leadership and domination and, and just killing it in life and having a beautiful family and and then post post basketball killing and being an investor, being a writer, a producer, and just yeah. taking that character that he had and then tragically passing away. It was just like it just could, didn't make sense because you 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 never want to see a guy like that a guy that you you love so much just tragically go away like that in your life you yeah. always wanted to you always have this picture of of this person right? yeah so but you can just tell and and look at the look at the impacts he's he's had people that don't know basketball our friends our inner circles that don't know basketball that well they they feel it yeah you know and it's like yeah. crazy to think that and, yeah. and just to think about the level of dominance that he just continually developed and, and just put into the game of basketball and outside of basketball, he kind of felt like he was untouchable. A part of me felt like not Kobe. Anybody else, but it, it can't be Kobe. Yeah. And so it put it in, into like a really harsh perspective for me that, and, and we're reminded of death all the time, right? It's just, it's, it's something that happens. You know, icons die. Most people, most important people in your life die. People pass away. That's we know that. You live, you die. People move on. But it just didn't feel like Kobe could ever die. Yeah, I don't think Kobe will die. But physically, he's left. He's still here. He's still in people's hearts, and it just it really put it in perspective that no matter how untouchable you are, nobody's really untouchable. Um, and that's where it really just it hurt. It just hurt so much, and uh, I related it back to my life, and and I just told you know people in my my inner circle, you know, I expressed my love for my family, and it gets to a point where we don't do that enough because, you know, forty one years old, fourteen years old, and I know there's some adolescents, there's some teenagers on that on the helicopter as well, that lost their lives, and uh, it could all end way too early, you know, so, I uh, it's really important to. You know, don't leave anything behind. If you have to say it, say it now. Say it when you have a chance because we move on and we live life. Sometimes we don't live it day by day. We think about next week. We think about next year. We think about where we want to be, where we have to be, where we expect ourselves to be, where society expects us to be. But we're not truly in the moment. And we think, you know, I'll tell that person I love, I'll tell them next week. I'll tell them later. Do it now. Because you might not get that chance. 